guys. <laughs> it's been a minute since I made a video, so I just thought I would do a quick one for you guys today because I'm out riding the new Transalp. And uh, I made a video about this thing a while back, and I told you guys I would update as I put accessories and do stuff like that. But uh, <clears throat> not finished yet. Got some more stuff coming. But uh, let's take a look-see. All right, as you guys can see, I am in the luxurious mountains of western Tennessee. No, really, about 400 foot in elevation and a lot of timber company stuff. But anyway, this is actually my hunting property. I'm just over here checking it and riding the Transalp. I've been to town, made a loop, doing my stuff. But uh, we've got about, let me see here. Hmm. Let me hit the switch there, boys. Oops. Still trying to figure this thing out. There we go. Just hit 500 miles. So, another 100 miles it'll be due for its first service, so it's still a brand new bike. But uh, let's talk about what is some of the stuff I've done to it. So, number one, headlight guard. Number two, a GV tall smoked touring windscreen, which is about four to five inches taller than the stock. Quite a bit more wind protection and wider. We have a GV with tank lock ring. It just popped on and off. 15 liter tank bag. We have added the Honda panniers with trim, aluminum trim. We have added the engine guard and skid plate. Oh my goodness, what else? We have a Foam mount right here, and then I have a uh, GoPro mount. Little deal goes right there. We have the GV backrest pad attached to the GV TRK 52 top case, 52 liter. Let's see what else, boys and girls. I think that's it for now that's been put on here. So, <clears throat> what's left to go? So, what's coming are hand guards. Uh, we have the full set of crash bars that come up, wrap around the front end. We have crash bar uh, dry bags that are going here on each side. And then we have dual fog lights that'll mount to this crash bar once it's installed. Man, what else? I don't know if I got anything else coming or not. So if you guys are trying to mount one of these GV top cases, make sure you get the right mounting plate. I ordered the wrong one at first. That's a SR1201, I think it is, that goes with that TRK52. So GV has mono locks and some other type, and the certain mount only works with a certain trunk. So th this trunk of these panniers, they just pop right off like luggage. Do what you do. But uh, I think that's all I'm going to do to this thing, man, is the hand guards, the crash bar, and the running lights. I'm, I'm going you know, to change tires when I wear these out. I'm not a fan of these tires, but... Other than that, guys, that's what it is. So I've got the, uh, let me see here. You guys can see I've got the Bluetooth speakers in the helmet running through the Bluetooth of the phone right there for music or news, watching the YouTube while I'm cruising down the road, whatever I want to do. So that's it, man. 2024 Honda Transalp, 500 miles. I'll do you guys another quick video when I get the crash bar and the lights and the rest of the stuff put on there. But uh, this tank bag is pretty cool, man. You just pop the red button and the whole thing lifts off to fuel up. I'll tell you what. Let's see what daddy's got in here. What's this? Mm. So that was part of my journey for today. Let's to the place to get the fireball. So... That's it, guys. I'm going to cruise up out of the woods right here and go to the house. That sure is a sexy-looking machine. And I'm going to tell you what. It's pretty peppy, dude. <laughs> I'm impressed with it. So really, really torquey. It loves the high RPMs. Very quick out of the hole. So I'm digging it, man. The more I ride it, the more I'm starting to like it. So that's going to be it, guys. From the scenic mountains of western Tennessee, 2024 Honda Transalp. Stay safe.